with us. Yes, you can hear the voice of my analyst talking about issues in live studio, so you should expect all this. Well, right now it's all about Edo 2024, the issue of voting on choosing a candidate, or let's say a deputy rather. That is what we are still on as a promise from the definite political parties, mentioning names constructively, the speculations making the rounds in our polity. Names being mentioned, rumors here and there, the grapevine surveys and there, this is what we really have to analyze to get to know, to get to feel the impact. Anyway, with me here in the studio, he is a mathematician, statistician, a lecturer at Unibem, but when talk about politics, is well grounded. He likes seeing things in figures, seeing things, trying to balance everything. But in balancing something, it's going to be like, hey, are you supporting party A, Y, Z, or what? Do me to welcome Dr. Owen Olobo. Welcome to TFI. So Thank you, I appreciate your coming. Me. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I still have Obaraye. And of course, our destiny of me in the studio, uh, they are going to be speaking their minds on issues bothering, pertaining our politics. Well, first we're making the round that this allusion, or will I say, speculation that this time around uh, APC is fishing for another person in another political party vis a vis an Obede Yama. One Obede Yama who is in PDP that they are trying to bring him in into APC as a deputy. One of these you should be taking a look at. These are just speculations, not confirmed. But you know, in Nigerian politics, anything can happen. After all, we have a, 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 a PDP in APC working effectively very well. In some week, yes, it's in PDP, it was working so well in APC. So if that's happening in those states, we'll not be surprised. But what do you feel if that move comes true? You know, um, thank you for... Sometimes when you talk very objectively, mm. people say you are taking side. You know, they say, ah, um, but the way he's talking, it appears he's favoring party D, party A, party mm. B, party that. Um, practically, if you talk to people, many persons, they are not really disposed towards the subject of mathematics. Mm. They say, ah, no, when I was in school, I didn't do well, I hit my math teacher, I'm not good in maths. Whereas all of us are mathematicians and we don't know. Hmm. All of us are mathematicians. Uh, I used to have uh, one of my professors who retired some years ago. His inaugural lecture title was uh, Equations Everywhere, Only the Righteous Can See Them. Hmm. Equations Everywhere, Only the Righteous Can, can see, see Them. Professor Vincent I. Hmm. Now, the chair that you are sitting on, why, are they, why, why is it four legs? And the legs are equidistant kind of from each other mm. why not three legs why not bring this leg close to this one why are they positioned the way they are positioned fine there are some two that you also see it has just one stand and then the base is big it's wide mm. you know there's a wide circle like that everything is done for balancing so it also the politicians are uh, they are the greatest mathematicians everybody everybody's a mathematician just that uh, they may not see it because you're not using X and Y, y. and all those things that scare people away during our your, 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 during school days. Now, if the whole thing about this Edo uh, 2024 election, we have three yeah three words three candidates. No, we have sixteen candidates. No, uh, well, three sixteen. Uh, okay, fine. If you say sixteen, mm. we have three major or uh, three candidates rather from three major political parties. Mm. Let's put it that way. The PDP, the APC, and the Labour Party candidates. Mm. And if you look at all these three persons, you will agree with me that these three persons are not, uh, let me use the word, pardon me to use, uh, let's just say thoroughbred politicians. They are politicians by the side, or they've been playing politics by the side. And then they, they are more of, uh, let's say, technocrats. To be very honest with you, I have not really heard much about um, the Okpewolo of the APC, until he became senator, just in 2023, just a, about a year ago. And then now I'm seeing Aswe Godalo, I'm seeing our brother from the Labour Party, uh, Akbata. I didn't even know Akbata was even an Edo person all along. Mm -hmm. It was just recently that I said, oh wow, this is a, it's even not just an Edo person, it's a Bini man and mm -hmm. all that. So we have all these three persons who are believed not to uh, I, I, I know the terrain, though that's another 
talk for another day. It's a speculation that they don't know the theory because some of the candidates, if you engage them, you will discover that they even know the theory more than you and I know. Now, having such persons as candidates for the three major parties, it is expected that they must all have thoroughbred politicians, core politicians, as they are running it. Mm. Core politicians. In order to, politicians who are, let me put it this way, who are grassroots politicians, politicians who have been on ground for quite a number of time in this state, they know the nitty gritty, they know the nooks and crannies of this state mm. inside the back of their hand. And also too, don't be surprised that this uh, APC and PDP will choose their running their deputies from Edo South, where we have uh, over 55 percent, like I told you the last time, mm. or thereabouts, about 55 percent or thereabouts of the entire voting strength. So they need someone who is on ground, someone who is conversant with the Edo South politics. And if you, like I said, the equation of the balance, even in chemistry. You bring a, a one chemical here, add the, uh, this one, this quantity, and this quantity to give you, uh, hmm. a, 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 like, a, for instance, that OCG, hydrogen. You add them together in right proportion, you will get water. Now, if you if you don't add the right proportion of OCG to hydrogen, definitely you will not get water. Hmm. So everything will be balanced. So in APC, because we should, for me. The interest, because I've been listening to the, the other discussants, mm. you know, the interest is to win the election. So if the APC had looked inward and they say, oh, we have an Okwemolo in Central, though my own fear about Central is that uh, just recently we started seeing other parties eh, beside the PDP winning seats in that Central. Central has been a strong old of uh, the PDP. PDP. That uh, was way, 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 yeah. since 1999. All right. During the era of um, uh, uh, Anene, the, yeah. the, the man who is believed to be the godfather of politics in the Do Centra. Oh. So what I'm saying is that we have an open that is from the Centra. So if the, P if the APC look at it and like, oh, wow, in the South South, within our folks, the APC, we really don't have somebody who can mash. Because uh, uh, there are speculations already of who the PDP is feeding mm -hmm. for, for, the, for the deputy. That one is also, I don't want to mention the name. We'll come to that. So, 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 so for the one want to move to shop. To APC. Yes, going to shop for a candidate. You know, this politician. Okay, who among all these people have really not crossed from one party to the other? Hmm. Let's not deceive ourselves. The present governor and his deputy were in APC. They crossed over. So crossing from one party to the other is not an issue for our politicians. Hmm. So if the APC have seen that, oh, wow, there's somebody that can help us win in the other party, and I'm going to shop. And I'm very sure before they even announce that one as uh, the deputy, if it's so, because I saw some people protesting already that, mm. they, that, they, that they, they, are, they are perceiving an imposition mm. from Una, from the minister of the FCT, mm. that is going to impose a candidate, which you just mentioned. These are speculations, speculations right now. Okay. They, are, they, are, they, are, they are speculating. So my one take here is this. If the APC look at his, within his folks and see that, oh, there is nobody that can really match the strength of the of the deputy because Edo State this election is about Edo South Senatorial District. District. If you win Edo South Senatorial District, the likelihood that you will win the governorship All is right. high. So All if right. they go and shop for a candidate in another party, that candidate they have even win somebody to their fold. Because before that candidate will be declared as the uh, uh, running mate, that candidate will have to have the count. Okay. So there's nothing wrong in that. You are cool with it. It's just a balance the equation. Balance the equation. The equation is everywhere. Mathematician. <laughs> I'll come back to you, Doc. I'll come back to you, Doc. Oh, but you heard him. <clears throat> there is one uh, of where the Yamada has been, like, you know, rumored that APC is looking for him, that what the right list says. So basically came out to protest, saying, uh -uh, this will not happen, this imposition and all that. Still under the realm of rumor, but in politics, there's no smoke without fire. Would that be a right move if it comes true? Yeah, um, on Tuesday, I first heard that issue. Yes. And I put a call across to my very good friend, my childhood friend, Obede Yama. And we laughed over it. And he told me that uh, if that happens, won't it be a plus for me? And I said, I just want to hear. Hmm. And he said, for now, no. So, and I also met with my people who were protesting. I told them, we should all sit down and tell ourselves the truth. But they are imagining a plus to our party. Mm. 
if you don't shy away from it. And so on, who are dead and said yes. And so said no. But for we that have been inside, I said no. Politics is not about we, it's about winning. If you win, so many things happen. Think of it if Wiki had supported the PC and the PC had not won. It would have been on exile, political exile as we speak of today. But today, as we speak, is dance, dancing the political macabre dance because the party supported openly won. So whatever it does now, anything people will now say it's a political magician because the risk it took worked out for him. The risk it took worked out for him. It's a political risk. Nobody takes that. It's the first person that did that. It does not work. I get it now. So if it also happens here, it's a plus. The reason is because as we speak for the very just, I told you, we need a a a, a political grassroots person. I get it now. Uh, 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 somebody that is extremely grassroots, somebody that you cannot joke with when it comes to the, the political maneuver, maneuvering of the Edo uh, political space. We've, I'd say, I told you in my first uh, line that the first three major political parties that we have, the three of them, I think the most political experience should be Bevelu because he wants the dance of red, 99-2003. So he touched it. Now also he's seen it all. So politically, he's, he has tested the political waters, unlike others. So maybe because it's not from the Edo uh, South speaking side, maybe that's why it's not popular. But the truth be told, three of them are not popular. Politics has now, this uh, position has made them not popular. So who would they need now to complement that they are no popularity? You need somebody that we can call in our local language the political ego go that's you hit it it sounds is that the reason why APC is fishing for a man of the pdp it does not really matter it doesn't really matter where it fishes if you listen to work if you try to listen you don't need to ask me i i mentioned wiki i said whatever it works with however it comes the major thing is for the way so fishing it anywhere coming to meet with your master and you know which matter is grass rooted. It comes, forget where the person is coming from. I've told you. Mm. It would be so, so, political suicide now for, for a, part, a political party to tell you they have a, a governorship aspirant from Medo Central, they want to pick a deputy from Medo Central, or they want to pick from Medo North and leave the place you know that it's a political plus. This is where everybody needs to drag from. Mm. So, even for us to speak for the very just now, the truth be told, the the PDP has given uh, their government candidate a political machine. I we don't need to. We'll, we'll come to that. Don't forget that. I'm telling you. We'll come to so that. you cannot also not make mistake and say because you've seen this and also do it. So this one might even drag the two other parties back to go back to their drawing board. Because you cannot take away the political uh, uh, story of those South Africa the world, the name of gay. There's no way you're going to say it. We'll come to I that. It down. So if you also don't want to take the risk, you also want to meet somebody who, if you mention his name since 1999, is also a political grassroots person. That comes chest, popularity for popularity, money for money for that person. If you don't do it, you, you, you lost before the main election. Day. So that's going for. Uh, anybody, 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 anybody. I'll come back to you. Uh, well, uh, Destiny, you heard them. It's all about mathematics, all about calculations, all about dotting your I's and crossing your T efficiently to really make sure that you come at tops in the election. Now, take a look at our stories making that it said for now, no, but it's so loud everywhere. What do you feel about it? And what do you think your party should do right now to counter that move? As an LP man, uh, Mr. Wixen, mm. I think uh, it is clear in politics, Nigeria politics per se, you know, mm. moving from one party to another has, oh, has for a long time been something that is normal to us. You understand? But uh, for uh, APC to be fiction for somebody in PDP, to, I think. They before now have put uh, in uh, put everybody before them in their scale of preference and know the, the weight and worth of each and every one of them. So, like we said, 
election is all about to win. Nobody goes to an election to lose, except mm -hmm. for some greedy persons, you know, who does that for a, a business sake. And I classify them to be political businessmen. Mm -hmm. But every genuine uh, party person who wants to run uh, an election or go into an election is going with mm -hmm. the mindset of winning the election so you must have to put in place proper calculation looking for who will match the strength that is before you had putting together your strength and that of the person to see how to you know get the population because uh, like we said uh, election is all about figure a band number. So you cannot go and get somebody who, like I said before now, somebody who is not known, somebody who will not have a positive effect. You know, take that person to be your running mate. It will only end up dragging you back. Uh, I think from all of this uh, uh, speech, and uh, it will now I think, like you directed it, like my party. Talking about my party, I, I trust and I'm sure that... Because everybody is making moves now, big moves. I'm very sure, I'm optimistic about it, that my party will not uh, make that mistake of not going to their drawing board to do their proper calculation to get uh, a, a candidate, a, sorry, a deputy who will be sellable who we have this uh, strength, who we have the popularity, who we have the, the, the capacity to ensure that, yes, it is a win-win uh, election. Mm -hmm. They won't make such mistake. Like it didn't happen in primaries of the uh, 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 candidates, governorship candidates. I know that it will not also happen in that of the deputy. All right, I will come back to you. Now, we were spoken about the APC rumors making the run, but right now, for the PDP side, they've made up their mind already. Some are saying the president in question, age is not on his side. Despite the fact that they say he is a, a political juggernaut, that he has structure, he's a name, a, a, a household name, but what's we come on for youth o'clock? What do you feel about that from the PDP angle? Well, um, all these things we call speculations, we call rumors speaking the rant, everything will come to bear or by Friday. Hmm. Friday, according to the electoral timetable okay. released by INEC, Friday should be the deadline for submission of, uh, names, of deputies, deputies. names of deputy. So by Friday, all these rumors would have been confirmed. And then uh, the only one we have not heard rumors about uh, is one for the, the Labour Party. Party. We, are, we hope they are also cooking to get a, 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 a running mate from Central or the North because the candy aspirant is from the South. From the South. Now, for PDP, to be very honest with you, I know that uh, it's not. I'm not missing word. The choice of uh, Ogi as a deputy, it's. Uh, I really, anyway, that's why sometimes you can call politicians magicians. Hmm. They are mathematicians. I give it to them. Many of these persons, if you give them simple equations to solve, mathematical equations to solve, they will tell you their deficiencies in solving maths. Whereas they are really solving complex, real-life political equations. They are. Because the choice of Ogi is a shocking one. I know Ogi has, Ogi has been in the equation. Because we tell you that it's a Friday yeah, before confirm all this. I am coming. They are saying she should be targeting youth yeah, o'clock, yeah, okay. not. Hold on, hold on. Yes. Now, we have Ogi. The aspirant, Aswe Igodalo, is the a candidate youth. now. The, the candidate, rather. Hmm. Uh, the candidate is a youth. Vibrant youth. Interact with him, and then you will, you will really know that there's so much this man is carrying. He's a youth, he's a young man. Hmm. So, when you have somebody who is already a youth as a governor, uh, sorry, aspirant, governorship aspirant, it's uh, a candidate, a, a, a candidate, okay, yeah. candidate, as the case may be, and then you have someone like an OG, who is a conservative, you know, experienced, 
Uh, we're calling a technocrat politician now. Oge is a grassrooted man. Oge has been in this political space for God knows how long. I'm sure he has been in the political space even long before 1999, uh, earlier than 1999. He has been there. He has been a commissioner of works, if I'm not mistaken. I think commissioner of works. He has been a SSG. Uh, uh, um, uh, yeah, he is currently the secretary to the state governor. He has been chief of staff. He has been, he has been there. And there are no start policies. You cannot remove Oge from it. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you really want to know how Oge is faring, uh, my my fellow discussant here said Oge is. Uh, you used one particular word. I'm really happy that uh, he's a sincere person. Uh, hey, Oge is not somebody that you joke with. Mm -hmm. Forget about the age. In this regard, uh, the, the, the American president, for instance, how old is the man? Mm -hmm. uh, Joe Biden. Joe Biden should be in his uh, late 70s or early 80s. What about the man that is at the end of affair of, our, of Nigeria, our, our president? Our president is, uh, well, he said he's, 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 he's in his early 70s. And then what about the deputy? The deputy, the vice president, rather, should not be, should not be, it should be in the 60s. Now, let's not speculate. Let's leave them with that. Yes, I'm yes. just telling you that Ogi. Oh, because I'm saying right now, he should be targeting you. Two o'clock, the governor, the, uh, the candidate, hmm. the PDP governorship candidate, Aswe Godalo, is a youth. He should be in his 50s, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe maybe just 18, 60. And then you have a. No, 60s I mean, or 50s, which are you talking about? Late 50s, it should be in his late 50s. Oh, okay. In his 60s. Oh, 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 not Ogi, I'm talking about. Ogi and. Uh, as well, as well they are same age, can 62, 62. Can you imagine? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> same age. So, okay. what, same what is youth? Okay. But, but if you look at, if you look at as well, for instance, as well is very youthful, mm. very vibrant. So you need a conservative like an an Oge. Oge is calm. I don't know. You, I have seen the man. He's a calm man. Someone who thinks deeply before taking action. And then you have somebody behind the governor. The governor is youthful. Forget forgetting the age now. The governor is youthful. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then that man will be working, and this one will just be here thinking it like a tick tank. Uh, um, my excellency, sir, this is not the way to go because the man, the man is is uh, is balanced. In those states, in those south and central district, that man has it. You sure about it? Yeah, I'm very sure. Oh, there's about to not say about an obey Yeah, my well, now over okay. to you, Obara, here right now. Because talking okay. about the PDP, well, as I said, these candidates and. Uh, Proposed right now or in 10 deputies, we don't know them until Friday. Mm. So, what do you feel about that choice if eventually it happens? Yeah, you the, the putting the age uh, limit into consideration. I say we should talk about youths right now, not uh, people of that particular age bracket. He said it's okay. So, what do you feel? Yeah, uh, politics is good for age, but experience matters a lot in politics. That's mm. just the truth. Uh, there's no way you can also. Uh, take politics in a do south mm. away from the likes of Iyama. Ogi has never contested the election. He has never contested the election. He has, no, he has never been on the ballot box. The Obede Yama has been on the ballot box. Osawa Baza has been on the ballot box. Chris Okabe has been on the ballot box. Mm. And it takes well, it's a different ballgame from being you being appointed to you going to the street to talk to people. Mm. To talk. To talk. I said it three times to so talk. It's a different ball game. To tell people what you can do, what you want to do, what you have done, this is that. It's a to convince people. People. Yes. I don't know what you, you know. You might, you, it's because you are a journalist. So it probably has this fight to look and tell you this is what it is. And politics, it needs it. Mm. You also need somebody that is vibrant, articulate, somebody that is down to earth to speak to the people. So if. Somebody's in a class of his own in that place. You can also take it away from a man who has, since 1999, we have about, okay, let's also go to the, 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 the Denko, my, my very good friend, mm. of my, he's a younger brother that has been to work twice. Contested election in Ovia to local government. It's a plus for him. To somebody that has been even SSG that has not contested the election. Because he has a structure of contesting the election, which you don't need to go back to draw. So if APC sits down to say, okay, we have the Christian we have the 
uh, Baze, we have the Denko, uh, Bede Amma is coming. Well, that's okay. If we are also looking at all these tripod politically, don't forget that you also need some powers, the third eye, hmm. political third eye to see. Before you see WK telling you they need this, it goes to tell you that there are some decisions taken somewhere. So if they also don't see that, okay, let's go for Bedi Amma. None of them, I'm not sure there's any politician in Benin, in Benin, that does not know me closely the way I know you with Sinomasha. Hmm. Because I've been in this game since 1998. 1998, he did. So both of them are new fact when it comes, when we tell them, we've been on this game. I've seen that for 16 years. Take it away from your age or anybody. I did you that for 16 good years. You should know where some of us are coming from. So when I tell you this person is a political guru, take it to the bank. When I tell you this person is a political grassroots person, take it to the bank. Obedi Yama contested for House of Assembly. Not that that 2000 TV, I've forgotten. Then he broke the jeans of going to work twice in Oredo. It has never happened. It has been one, 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 one. He broke the jeans when I started calling him the jeans breaker. He's not in my party, but he's a very, very close friend. If I say close friend, I know what I'm telling you. Close, close. Osaro Obaze, one time uh, uh, counselor, but five, one time mm -hmm. uh, supervisor counselor. They were the local government chairman. A political bulldozer, a political mobilizer. You cannot take that away from so him. So these are personalities. Yes, I'm telling you. They go to Chris Okabe, Ewe Okabe, same word for me. One time secretary to local government, two time boss of, uh, 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 two time uh, supervisory councillor, uh, commissioner for youth and sports. So you can you can see people, their political portfolio. So then also go to Denko, if you want to choose from Denko. For a man, before commissioner, two time as of uh, rep, those are what you put in your political bag. Where politically to say this is who I am, this is what I am. So we cannot, I cannot tell you as a politician that knows to tell you the truth that I told you PDP's best decisions again. Okay. So APC now we should now go back to the joint board because to now to counter. Yes. You okay. are, if you are still not going to counter. Yeah. Should not counter, not try to counter to destroy your home. But counter build a If home. you want to counter, you must make sure that if you want to counter, let my, all my own builders sit down together to say, the reason why I want to choose this guy, look at it. Hmm. Not an imposition. No, you, if you choose this guy, you know, and you people are here as full soldiers. All right. Your, uh, we, we will. All of you can become SSG. All right, all right. thank you. Up. So thank you. Doing. Yes. Everything can go on. Well, okay, well. After this, we will come to you. We will come take a look at the Labour Party right now. They've not been making any noise. I've not heard anything. We know there is a candidate in the Labour Party, but we don't know about the deputy. We're going to mention names, speculation. But on Friday, we're going to know the real persons that will be deputizing for each of these candidates. But now, take a look at the Labour Party. Yes, it is true that we have two formidable candidates from Central. Two lions that are ready to go into the field to get serious good launch on a particular day talking about the governorship seat and now we have your candidate of the Labour Party Olimida Kwata from the south some people are saying that uh, speculations are like it to be right we don't know now till Friday that a Dory Okoje should be ideal for that position what do you feel about this because it's all about chess game right now the push and the pull the yin and the yang to create a balance to come out tops in this election what do you feel about that rumor making the rounds mm -hmm. uh, mr wilson yes uh the truth is uh firstly uh the i want to talk about the age issue okay the age issue yes. go ahead uh i think you made mention of uh it is it ought to be youth o'clock yeah and uh, my father has here talked about mm. all of those stuff uh though my comrade here disagreed mm. that it is not about uh, uh, youth, but uh, about doing, uh, going for a grassroots uh, politician. And uh, why uh, Oba Raye mm. also objected in a way that uh, there are persons there who are grassroots and they are young. I think uh, we should not uh, uh, shy away from the truth. Because uh, you agree with me that before now we have been saying uh, 
our children are the leaders of tomorrow. Mm. But my question or something that bothers me most is, I don't know when that tomorrow will come. If we keep, uh, if the, the elderly people in the game don't want to retire for the young ones to come on board, uh, that's for that. Then for the issue of uh, uh, the speculation making the rounds, that, yes, uh, about, the, Dori, uh, about a Dory Okoje. Dory Okoje and all that. I think it will not be a wrong decision or a wrong calculation if Dory is picked for that of the deputy. Because uh, if you look at it from all uh, ramification, you see that there is a, a young, vibrant man who have the capacity, who have the where we are, who have what it takes. He is a grassrooted politician. So, uh, with all of this, and not just that, is from the central. So having this young, vibrant uh, uh, politician from this zone, knowing that our candidate is from the south, so picking uh, somebody like uh, Dori Okoje, I don't think it's a wrong step. It will be a perfect match because uh, 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 Dori, sorry, Olumide Akpata is, though you, you can say uh, is not popular, but I would say that is your own view. He is having the experience, the capacity, and also the way with that to also do well. But, but they are saying these three in the middle political parties, they are like neophyte, they are new in the game. All major political parties, both your own label, your APC, your PDP, that these guys are just there for Mr. the first Wilson. time. I mean, Mr. it's like M Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson. Oh, okay, fine. Mr. Wilson. Boss. Mr. Wilson. I'm not a politician. I always let, let, you. Let's okay. not get let's not get it wrong. Yes. Uh, I think whether new or not, like my uh, comrade said, let's look at it from the angle of football. Do you know there are so many persons out there that are watching you that is in the feed that can even play more better than you in the feed? It is all about experience, like he said. You understand? He made mention of something that I really love, like that it is not about uh, uh, an appointment. It is about you. There's, there's a great difference between someone who has fought battle to one and someone who uh, was just clapping, you know, or supporting in a way. You understand? So it's, when you say they are new, I don't think that can't. What we should be talking about is experience. Do these people really have this experience? Do these people really have the way with that? That is what we should mm. focus more on. Mm. Not whether they are new or they are old. Now, if we are talking about whether being new or old, if tomorrow the old politicians are no longer there, is it not the same new politicians that will take over from them? For instance, the likes of our a great leader, uh, the person of Anene, Tony Anene. Tony Anene is not alive again, blessed memory. But that position, is it not somebody who is new that will not assume that position? Will he also, is it that, is it, is it moving from the old to the old, or it ought to move from the old to the new? Because there are people on that who are learning from you that are supposed to take, or that you are supposed to hand over this bat into. You understand? So uh, let's, let me not deviate from the question, though. Picking Dori Okoji is not going to be a mistake. I think right. it will be a perfect 
March. All right, now don't forget that on Friday we're going to know because these are just speculations. We're mentioning names right now. A D C. That we're not saying they are the individuals. That's why I use the word. I'm very concerned about word right now. I talk about Anugi. Talk about a Dory. Talk about Anubedi Yama. This could be individuals known to you. That's a speculation. But from Friday, we'll get to know the position of these parties. Okay, because also like you know, trying to see if there could just be. A synergy, when I say a balance, it's like you know, finding the, the, the yin and the yang, you know, I talk about equilibrium. Now, out of all this, we've said, Dr. Owen, you get to realize that politicians, a political party, sometimes they do wait almost a day to before they say, This is the person. As so I talked about Joseph, it's by INEC, they will just be the candidate later, they replace the candidate. Now, do you see that happening in this particular contest? I'm putting a candidate. As a deputy governor or a ship candidate, you get to realize that in course of the election year and before the election day proper, you get to hear of changes being made. Do you see it happening in this dispensation? Well, um, you must also you must know this that uh, it's going to be a joint ticket. Hmm. We have had cases where governorship candidates were disqualified. Even after winning election, the case of Bayesa, David Lyon won election outright. The present governor was PDP and David Lyon was APC. David Lyon won election and his running mate outrightly. And then I think a day to his inauguration, he was already practicing. <laughs> no, that was the worst blow ever. Yes, he was already the practicing. The Supreme Court made a and, uh, and he had a large entourage of persons who were, uh, you know, felicitating with him, a day to inauguration. They were at the study with him, stadium rather, when he was practicing and all that. When the appeal court also gave judgments that the inauguration should not always be disqualified. Immediately, everybody started running away. And why? It was not sin of Iso. It was not a sin. It was a sin of the deputy. The deputy. So, as for substitution of candidates, I want to believe that, you know, the primaries of um, the political parties had a long time ago, I would say, I think sometimes in February or thereabout, mm. that was when the primaries held. No, I, 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 ordinarily people were like, oh, uh, before they even start campaigning and all that, you know, seeking for nomination from their party members, they would have also had candidates running, yeah, running mate, uh, yes. in line. And uh, it, it, was, it will be based on that, that they will be speculating, okay, they will be aligning. You know, politics is about alignment. Oh, no problem. Since uh, you want me to be gone on that day, we were here having this, a discussion like this. It was on the Wednesday when PDP was conducting their primaries. Mm. And then we saw different presidents on the Thursday, on the Thursday rather. Yes. They were stepping down. No, Wednesday, mm. I think. Anyway, the day was not matter. They were stepping down. And my own calculation was like, oh, for this stepping down to be taking place, most probably they have had some political alignment. Oh, when I become the aspirant, I will take you as a deputy. A deputy mm. Or from this one position, you may be commissioner or this or this lot have been shared. Mm. But now, Going back to what you have raised, now that we didn't see any of those aspirants that who step, down. Their step down becoming governor, uh, sorry, deputy, deputy. Uh, based on the speculations we are having, now it behoves you that these people have looked inward, they have extracted uh, themselves, they have used their searchlight, they have looked at uh, all the records, academic records, because for the Bayesa man, Bayesa uh, governor was disqualified based on an academic, uh, record. academic record of his deputy. Yes. So because they joined tickets. So I'm sure they took this long for this speculation because just yesterday I was somewhere, I saw one cap, one face cap. I saw AI and I saw O square. I was like, oh, this thing is confirmed. They say, ah, the person say, ah, yes, yes, they, they were there and they all that. So I believe that they took this long because to extract the candidates who will be uh, possibly deputy governor candidates, right. they extract them and all that. So for the part of substitution, mm -hmm. if for eventually after, you know, submitting the name to INEC by Friday, and the parties still go back and see, ah, this person may dent our, our image as we progress. Let's but change. They will change. All right, because thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Dr. Owen. That's your last line. About we have two it's minutes, okay. and of course, uh, uh, definitely have two minutes to summarize your uh, points, please. Yeah, I think we've, we've said it all. The yeah. truth must be told. I think uh, Friday is sacrosanct, and uh, I know if the, party do, if the party does not get it to work before Friday, 
What is stop them for putting a bar his name there just to make it? <laughs> just a white hat. Okay. Yeah, so that Substitute the, candidate. Yeah. Yeah. So that by the time maybe uh, they get their house together, yeah. fixing the best thing. Because you cannot go to the battlefield with your uh, uh, injured uh, soldier. Yeah. Or don't trust in your... Your, your, right. your, 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 yes, so this time is the time you need the, the, the advice of the political principalities, the politi political deities. Hmm. I get it now, those that will come and tell you this is the way it goes. Because in all this that we are saying, hmm. don't also forget that the political traditional institution has a role to also play in all this we are saying. We, we know this we are saying, we know we, we, don't want to, we also want to shy away from it. Don't forget that we have the Muslims and the Christians mm -hmm. in Edo. Don't forget about that. Don't, uh, we should not shy away from it. You can say this is this, this is that. But in what eight in Edo, you cannot win without the Muslims vote. In what eight or in Edo? Mm. Let me go again. In what four in Edo, you cannot win without the Muslim uh, cooperation. Mm. In World 12 in Oredo, you cannot win 50-60% without the Muslim. In World 7 where I vote, 50% you cannot win without the Igbos. Mm. Not beginning to consideration. These are factors. What, what I'm consider. telling you now is what you can take to the bank. All right. I get in World 2, which is the largest world in Oredo, and one of the biggest in Oredo, you cannot win without the, political, the traditional institutions. Because they have about 45 to 47 local uh, uh, villages Communities. that you cannot now go. You now take their kings and meet you at oh. bar and thank send you. a message thank to you. get back to that place. Thank you, so thank you. Why, so it, it, they have to calculate everything. Thank you, Baraye. Thank you so much. Destiny, briefly, our time is up. Two minutes, Max. Uh, it is simple. Uh, EU has planned to, EU has failed to plan. Plan already to planned to fail. I mm. think uh, whatever is worth doing needs to be done well. Mm. So all parties should fall back to their dream, but do the needful before Friday. And if they have failed to do that, change is a constant thing. Mm. So they can just fill in any names. They let them substitute. And with time, mm. substitution can come. Thank you. In. I think that is the reason why that uh, chance for substitution mm. was being created. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Well, you've heard them. All those names you heard us mention, one Ubede, one Ihama, one Usaudioge, one Dorio Koje, these are just speculations making the rounds. On Friday, we're going to know the position of this party. But mind you, it's like a chess game. Everything will be put into consideration, cognizant, because it's all about winning the election. Gentlemen, thank you once more. Appreciate a wonderful and Thank you so much. We'll do it again some other time. Bye for now.